Alright guys, how's it going? It's Into Thin Air. Now, I have you here on Ventu Sky website. Now, I just want to let you know I was watching a video that Mr. MBB333 put out that's getting a lot of attention about this new system forming uh, Tropical Storm Irma, which um, will more than likely be at least a Cat 4 in the next three to four days. Now, what my concern is, is this. It might sound a little far-fetched to some people, but I was watching uh, his video, and he was messing with the date down here. Now, this map apparently is very, very accurate, up to five days, and then usually a little bit after that, um, it's not as accurate. So, if you watch this storm system down here, Irma, I just pushed it forward one day. Now, watch, I just want you to see the, the how far it moves each day. This would be September 2nd. Here's September 3rd. Makes a little dip south. Here's 4, and this, this would be our 5th day. So anything after this, um, they basically tell you it's not as accurate as they would like, but within that 5 day period, they're dead on. So we're saying September 4th, uh, that would be... It's obviously a hurricane. So we're on September 5th, Tuesday. September 6th, it starts making its northern approach. The 7th, it shows it moving towards the east coast. Here's the 8th. Here's the 9th. So, I want you to keep this in mind, guys. So, today's the 1st, or the 31st? Today's the 31st, Thursday, okay? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, up until Tuesday the 5th, they say this thing's pretty accurate. So now, between the 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th, it shows it moving towards the Carolinas, and some places are expecting a landfall around the Carolinas. Or, it could be sent up the East Coast, which we've all seen before, that has happened. So, I want to put this in your mind, so... Again, sorry I'm taking so much time here, I'm, I'm thinking as I'm talking to you guys, so just bear with me here. Uh, Tuesday, so this is where their... their um, very strong guesses end. They, they assume this thing is going to be here. We're at 120 mile per hour winds here. And now basically from this day forward, they don't know exactly what's going to happen. So here's my idea. Let's say this thing makes a northern approach. I got the 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th. Let's say it even follows this, this pattern, okay? It's looking to me like we're not looking at a Carolina strike. We're looking at more of a sandy deal, where this thing is going to come up, and it could make that left hook turn into the east coast up towards New York. Now, keep an eye on the date here. Right now, we're at September 9th, okay? If I were, if I was allowed to click 10 and 11, this thing's going to jump, I want to say about here to the 10th, and then we're talking about a possible landfall on 9-11. Now, I know it's far-fetched and we can't tell where this thing's going, but guys, think about this for a second. Sandy basically made a left hook into the East Coast, so there is no telling where these things go uh, past a five-day model. Now, again, I'm watching this because of Mr. MBB333. This guy's incredible with his weather stuff, so I, I'm crediting him with this video right off the bat because he got me watching these maps and stuff like that, and, and you can really see a lot of stuff on these things. And guys, this is not out of the realm of possibilities. I mean, if this thing, if we're talking Tuesday, is their main, you know, after this, they don't know where this thing's gonna go, but more than likely, it's gonna follow this pattern. Again, there's the 7th, there's the 8th, there's the 9th. So, let's assume this thing's gonna be right around here uh, during this time, and from this point forward, it can go anywhere. So, nine with two days remaining, this thing's skipping hundreds of miles a day, and the speed it's moving, if it's a Cat 5, these things are flying. So there's no... Y you can't take it off the table that this thing might not hit the area of New York, New Jersey, Long Island, around 9-11. So, I want to keep that in the back of everyone's minds, because this is not just a threat to the Carolinas, this is a threat to the entire East Coast, because we do not know where this thing is going. And after Harvey, I'm never, ever letting a hurricane go without looking into it and following it until the thing is dead and gone. That's a promise I made to myself. I can't believe what's going on in Texas right now. It's unbelievable. Okay, now, I also want to bring to your attention that a lot of you don't know that on 9-11-2001, there was 
a Category 1 or 2 hurricane right off the coast of New York. And here's a picture of it from 2001. This was the day of 9-11. You can see this is Long Island here. New York right around here. This thing was right off the coast. And there's a lot of theories out there that people think that the hurricane itself was used as some sort of energy source to do some damage in New York, but we won't get into that here. I don't know enough about it to even begin to talk to you about that. But I just wanted to show you that there was indeed a hurricane right off the East Coast on 9-11, 2001, as um, the terrorist attack was going on. Here's, a, here's an article with a video about it. I want to play that. don't want to get copyright. But there's other pictures of it. This is a higher image from the satellite views. And honestly, I'll tell you guys, during that time, I didn't even know there was a hurricane there. I had no clue. And anytime there's a hurricane off the coast of New York, let alone the East Coast itself, people usually know about it. So it could tell you, that shows you how sidetracked we were that day, or those days. But here we go again, guys. One more time. I'm just going to run through this. Mr. MBB333 did this, and he, he f gets through this stuff so well. It's amazing. So here's Friday. Here's Saturday. Here's Sunday. Here's Monday. Here's Tuesday, the end of their guaranteed, or not guaranteed, but they're very good guessing. So anything from here forward could be anything. I'm sure uh, BP Earthwatch will come out with his spaghetti models too to give some ideas of where these things usually go. But we always see them riding right up the East Coast and then Sandy Hook took that left turn right into New York. So if this thing doesn't come in towards Florida a lot and it stays shallow, it could ha it could be a direct hit into New York. It could be near uh, uh, Virginia, the Carolinas, which is where this thing's showing now. But anyway, guys, yeah, so this is not out of the realm of possibility. We could possibly have a 9-11 landfall around New York with Hurricane Irma. And I just want to bring that to everyone's attention and uh, keep your eyes open, guys. And I really suggest all of you check these maps out and follow them. I mean, they, they help. They can give you warnings that the TV won't. A lot of people sit and wait for the TV to tell them to leave or, you know, and we're talking this is like hours before a, a catastrophe happens. So you need to start getting educated on weather and reading these maps. Mr. MBB333 says this all the time, how these maps and this information is more important than anything you're given in the news. Anything about temperature, none of that crap matters. It's all about UV readings. It's all about what's being done to your body that you don't know about. And then again, with these maps, you can tell yourself when weather's going to hit, how strong it's going to be, and how much time you have. You don't have to wait for a TV to tell you this. All right, I'm rambling now. But guys, keep this in mind. We're going to keep an eye on this model. I'm going to be doing a lot more weather stuff lately because it's just, it's taken over my life. I love it so much. All right, guys, I appreciate you all sticking with me. Sorry I haven't made videos in a while, but I just wanted to touch base on this and show you that this is not the first time we've been in this situation. September is hurricane season. All right, guys, take care. Talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.